Right, so we're going to be configuring uh, this topology here. We have two PCs on either end, a switch and a router. Uh, there's going to be two subnets here. Uh, the one on this side is going to have 60 users, and one on the side is going to have a minimum of 30 users. So uh, let me go ahead and get rid of all that. And this is how it works. We go to Network Devices. Let's drag our router in. Let's get a switch going. And let's go to End Devices and get two PCs. Now, how do we connect these? Well, when you're connecting to a switch, uh, it doesn't matter what you connect to it, you're always going to use a copper straight through cable. So fast Ethernet 0 port there to that uh, fast Ethernet 0 1. And then uh, switch to router is again that 0 2 to its gigabit. Now for connecting a PC to a router straight up, uh, you're going to want to do a copper crossover. So that's gigabit to fast Ethernet. All right. So now we want to go ahead and configure the router. How do we do this? We go to CLI, let's press no, and uh, enable config T for configure terminal. Uh, let's do hostname R1 just to call the router R1. Now let's go ahead and uh, lock the console and lock the VTY. So line console zero, password, whatever you want it to be, login, exit, now line BTY 015, uh, password, whatever you want it to be, login, exit. Uh, now let's go ahead and do enable secrets, whatever you want that password to be, and then service, password, encryption. Now for a banner message of the day, it's a banner MOTD delimiter. Hello world is going to be mine. Now we can start doing the interfaces. Uh, let's take a look here. We have uh, gigabit ethernet 00 on the subnet A side with 60 users. And we also have gigabit ethernet 01 on this side with 30 users. So let's do interface gigabit ethernet uh, zero slash zero for that side uh, and let's go ahead and configure an IP address of 192.168.10. Let's say one uh, we always want to give the router the first host address available on the uh, subnet for that interface and subnet mass will be 255.255.255.192 because this subnet here, subnet A, is going to be a slash 26 uh, which will make it 192. And of course no shutdown and um, let's go ahead and exit. Now let's do the other interface. Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 IP address 192.168.10.65 uh, There's a network for this subnet is going to be 64 First available host is 65 Subnet is uh, 224 because this one's a slash 27 We use VLSM Let's do that No shutdown and exit we can go ahead and exit the config and let's do copy running config startup config so that it remembers after it shuts down and let's also do show ip interface brief uh, as we can see everything is up and up so it's all good now let's see the switch very similar to the uh, router here. We're going to do enable, uh, config T, then host name, let's call it S1, 
Uh, again, very similar to the router, we're going to do line console zero, uh, password pass, login exit, line VTY015, password pass, login exit, uh, and then enable secret, whatever you want the password to be, and um, service password encryption. Then we'll go ahead and do the banner message of the day, delimiter hello world, and delimiter. And let's start messing with the interface, uh, the SVI, so interface VLAN 1, IP address 192.168.10. Uh, uh, let's see, on this side, uh, it's going to be 1 there, so let's make the switch to then 255.192 because that side is a slash 26. And let's do no shutdown. Cool. And let's also do uh, IP default gateway. 192.168.10.1. Then let's go ahead and exit and let's copy running config startup config and let's do show IP interface brief. Uh, all right. Very, 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 very good. Let's close out of that. Now let's go to this PC here and uh, configure the gateway to 192.168.10.1. And let's configure the fast Ethernet IP to 192.168.10. Let's say 3. Uh, subnet mask will be. 192 because it's on subnet A, which is the slash 26 network. Very good. And that PC config gateway 192.168.10.65 because that is the IP address of this interface of that router. Uh, can show that as such. There you go. And fast Ethernet, let's do 192.168.10.66 uh, with a subnet mask of 224. There we go. Let's exit that. And the last thing we want to do to test it out, we go to desktop, we go to command prompt, and we try to ping the PC on the other end, which has the address 192.168.10. Dot 66. Now the first time you ping, typically uh, it's going to give you the request timed out message the first time, but 3 will go through. If you ping it again, dot 168.10.66, dot dot all 4 should go through. And that is how you configure this topology here.